あそうそうですねはいでは水曜日にはいよろしくお願いしますえー、っと半藤さんはあれ電話中かあのすぐ終わると思いますがあそうじゃあ待たせてもらおうかなじゃあまた児玉さんがあ,ありがとう Did you notice the main difference between the two scenes? すぐ終わりますすぐ終わりますすぐ終わると思いますがすぐ終わると思いますが In the first scene, Ando san, who was talking on the telephone, could say for sure that he'd finish soon. So he said, Sungu o a r i m a s I'll finish soon. But in the second scene, Koyanagi san could only guess, so she said, Sungu o a r u t o o m o i m a s g a I think he'll finish soon. In this case, what comes before to o m o i m a s is the verb o a r u Meaning finish. Oaru is what we call a plain form corresponding to the longer form of the verb, oarimas. Verbs have to be in a plain form before to omoimas, and you can remind yourself about other plain forms by looking at the textbook later. Okay, now let's watch two more scenes and again try to identify the difference between them. いないと思いますが。安藤さん。安藤さん。ああいませんね。どうもありがとうございました。In the first scene, Kodama-san guessed that his neighbor was probably still at home, so he said, いると思いますが。いると思いますが。However, in the second scene, Kodama san guessed his neighbor wouldn't be home at that time and said, いないと思いますが、いないと思いますが。And in the first scene, when Koyanagi san discovered that Ando san actually was home, she said, ああ、いますね。ああ、いますね。In the second scene, when she found that he wasn't there, she said, Ah, いませんね Ah, いませんね As we saw earlier, verbs have to be in plain forms before to omoimas. In the first of the scenes we just saw, The verb before to omoimas was iru, meaning be, which is the plain form corresponding to imas. But note that in the second scene, 
where Kodama-san said he thought the neighbor wasn't there, the verb was inai, which is a plain form corresponding to imasen. Now, let's see one more example of to omoimasu from Yan's story. Ah, so da, Kuwata-san. When Yan asked Kuwata-san if he could come to the party the next day, Kuwata-san said, I think I can go there by 4 o'clock. He didn't say nga at the end, but remember that you can add this to sound less sure about something. Anyway, today you learned how to say what you think using to omoimasu. And now we've come to the end of today's program. And from all of us, until next time, sayonara! sayonara.